Okay, as we see here, um, I blended the sky out to where I'm happy with it. Um, of course, you can blend more or less, depending on what you want, what look you're going for. And as you can see, um, I've uh, retraced uh, the outline of my tree and my chakras on the tree um, of life with uh, white. And that's just, again, um, give myself a better reference point, plus I get a better color um, out of uh, white. Um, considering that my tree is going to be painted brown, I did leave a lot of blue still in it, because blue is a natural um, uh, shading uh, color for uh, browns and reds. Okay, what I've done is I've mixed a little bit of um, my cyan blue with uh, some fat orange to get a good brown. I'm just laying down a base coat of brown and then I'll work forward from that. So want to make sure you don't <laughs> lay your hand down across any white paint.
so as you can see, I painted in my brown. Um, I've started um, my sh shading. Um, and when I lay down my base coat, I always then work from dark uh, to light. Um, and it just makes everything pop more and makes you realize and you have to remember, of course, to keep going back and looking at it from a distance because um, as things look up close, they don't look the same from a distance. Okay, so now I'm adding a little white to my uh, vat orange, um, with maybe just a hint of the blue, um, and putting in a little highlight and I'm going smaller and smaller and trying to make it a little more definitive as I go along. I uh, still have a lot of detail work to do in the tree, but the basic colors so far are laid out. <coughs> so you can see here, um, I'm going back in between every single line that I did earlier with a much darker uh, color. And because I'm using a brown, I'm mixing a blue and an orangish red, uh, which are complementary colors to each other. So <coughs> when I go in with the shadow, I am using a great deal of blue with just a touch of red. And it took me a very, very dark brown shadow. And that's what I'm using um, for most of my shadows at this moment. As you can see, the more darkening and highlight I give this, the more it pops and comes alive into a three-dimensional piece. And what might seem like a lot of highlight this close up, when you stand back from it, it all kind of comes together visually for you. So don't be afraid to overdo it. Painting is just like acting on stage. You have to overdo it <laughs> for the audience to appreciate what you're doing. <laughs> 